Big Dog B. So I wanted to give you a little couple of videos for basically what I call gun show finds. Uh, just this past weekend, today's actually Monday, so on Saturday I ended up going to the Philadelphia Expo Center at Oaks for the gun show there. Um, if you're in the Philadelphia, Allentown region, hell even Harrisburg, uh, you know, you need to come out to Oaks. It's about, you know, every time they, they do this show, it's at least a thousand tables. I mean, it's, it's huge. And this time around, it wasn't too bad. There weren't that many people there. I think a lot of people are still worried about price gouging and all of that. But I did find uh, a couple of things that piqued my interest. Most of the times I just go around, look, see who has what. Especially if somebody has something new, like a new rifle that came out, which kind of annoyed me. I didn't, I didn't recall seeing any uh, Tavors. Uh, there, and I really wanted to get my hands on one because, you know, at least that I can hold it because I know damn well my wife will never let me spend two thousand dollars to buy one. But anyway, first gun show found that I had this right here Insta Mold. This is a company who is actually literally down the street from the expo center. For the longest time, I have wanted custom earplugs made uh, for shooting and. Okay, I'm supposed to just squeeze the sides here, right? There we go. And so, uh, in order to do custom earplugs, you need to go to an audiologist, they need to check your ears out, and all this other stuff. Um, you know, they can run you a hundred bucks or something in that general area. Well, the company Instamold was there at the show, and they have these, they, you know, they do them right there. Um for 60 bucks. So, because the my competition gun is black and red, I got earplugs that are black and red. Took almost no time at all. Sat in the chair, she, the woman, Lori, looked in my ears with the uh, little, I forget what the hell it's called, oscilloscope, or, 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 yeah, the, the thing the doctor sticks in your ears. And she remarked on how straight my ear canals were. She basically puts a piece of foam in that has a string attached to it, so the string comes out of your ear. Basically, and she did it on both sides and stuck them pretty pretty deep in, because apparently I have straight and you know long ear canals. Okay. Uh, essentially, what this foam is with the string is essentially basically a tampon. I, I felt like I had tamp I had a tampon on my ear. So once that's done, she then mixes up the compound, which is like the it's a silicone base. So she took the two colors, mixed them together, and then there's a third, I guess an activator, that she rolls in. It goes into a uh, syringe, and then the syringe um, gets put into your ear, fills your ear up, and then they fill up the outside. So what you're left with is something like this, okay? So this is all in the ear, and then this is all on the outside of the ear. Now, first of all, if you've never seen the inside of your ear, this is a good way to see it. Honestly, and this is really kind of hard to tell, but, you know, just here's my finger for an example. I have a, re see what she meant by a straight ear canal? Apparently, wow, it's big and long. So, um, <laughs> so but once, uh, you know, your ears are filled up, um, they, you probably sit for about 10 minutes, let it cure a little bit while they're still in your ears. Uh, they'll, they'll, she pulled it out and then said okay when you're ready come back uh, and these will be ready to go what she ended up doing was she ended up trimming uh, taking a dremel and just kinda like rounding down some of the edges and then she put like this silicone clear coat you can see where it's all shiny uh, there's basically the silicone clear coat uh, on there to help protect it now these here are probably good for uh, three to four years uh, your best bet is if you do if you go this kind of route that you know you, you get it done every every few years because you know your ears can change uh, but for sixty dollars over the course of three or four years I, I mean to me that's really worth it considering you know what you may spend for disposables or something like that I actually use uh, or did use until I got these 
uh, like ear seals, and it kind of looks like a Christmas tree. If I use this for example, it had like uh, silicone baffles, like small, medium, and large, and then those go into your ear and do the work there. So I don't have to wear those anymore. Besides, I've been wearing them for few months now and they probably could use be cleaned and or trashed and then a new pair started so here it is my custom earplugs hmm. all right and these are really simple to put in too you know you just you know uh, if this is the way it normally sits like this you actually rotate it forward stick it in your ear as you're going into your ear twist it it kind of screws itself into your ear it feels really weird and that it feels as though it's not actually in place um, but it is and you have something it's because you have something you know up here in the cup and all that kind of stuff that you never really had there before uh, for me this is awesome I really can't wait to to get out to the range and give these a try mostly because I am not an ear muff person I can't stand muffs over my ears it pushes my glasses into my head and you know you know, I'm a big fat guy that sweats already, and uh, just adding those to the mix makes it even worse. Um, so, but anyway, this is the company here. I just want to give them a give them a plug. Uh, they're called Instamold. Uh, go to Instamold.com if you're interested, especially if you're in the Philadelphia area. Give them a call. They're right in Oaks, Pennsylvania. They'll take care of you. Um, if you want to do your own earplug molding. They have a starter kit that they can send you, and you can do it yourself or do it for other people. Uh, I assume instructions come with it too. But anyway, so just give these guys a plug. Instamold got this done at the gun show, 60 bucks. Well worth it. Also, for anyone that cares, they also make earplugs for uh, swimming, and they also make them with uh, holes through here and here so it can be. Uh, attached, you can have a uh, use those kind of you know, use custom old earplugs as uh, headphones, and they also make the custom old earplugs to fit with radios. So if you're uh, you know one of those uh, guys that works security or something like that, and you have uh, the radio that's in your ear, they do make them uh, for that as well. I don't know the prices on those, but just putting it out there. All right, guys, so I just got done shooting, what, uh, 40, 80, 120, 150 rounds of 223 out of my AR, wearing my brand new, let me step over here, custom fit ear molds, okay? No issues. They feel great. Uh, just, it's a little something to get used to, because normal earplugs, if you wear earplugs, just go in your ear and stay in your ear. These obviously come up a little bit into the, the cups and all that. So it's just, it's something new to get used to, but they're very comfortable. Of course they're comfortable. They're custom fit for my ears. So there you go. Got no problems with noise, anything like that. I'm liking them. I'm really glad that I spent the 60 bucks. If you guys want some custom earplugs too, I'll put the uh, link to the place where I got mine in the description. All right, as always, see you next time.